Hi, this is Gene with Take.com, and I wanted to record this video to show you how the new Marketizer 2.0 works. I have bundled all the dependencies, so you don't have to worry about the JDK, the JRE, Android SDK. Everything is within the Marketizer environment, so whatever is needed will run uh, from there and you'll be able to go through the entire conversion process without worrying about any of those dependencies. So I'll just start it up and I made the window smaller so hopefully it'll fit the smaller screen sizes better now. And on the setup tab you can select a sort if you have one previously created and make sure you enter the alias and store pass and then you can just click save.mtz and that will save a file with the alias and store pass so that you could later load it. If you don't have a cert created yet you can go to the create cert tab and just fill in the required fields here. The examples show what they should look like and I'll just go ahead and do that. and then just click generate cert and this will take a few seconds once it's done we should get a status message here and there it is and then just click save mtz it'll save that file and then just go and convert your APK select it If you notice here, I removed the auto sign, so that part of the process is no longer needed here, and it's much shorter and faster. So we just go down these buttons here, okay, so there were some questions. The version code needs to be a whole number. Google requires this to be incremented for every new release, so this is the first release of my application it could be any number. The most important thing though is with subsequent releases you have to increment it. So if I put one here and then the version name this could be anything. Uh, this is specific to my application. So this is my application version. So my application version might be 1.15. So when I come back and publish an upgrade I'll need to make sure to make the version code at least the two and then I'll need to increase this, of course, as you know, my application version increases. So I'll just click Update, same as before, debuggable flag set to false. I can set it to be locked at portrait. Then I move on to build the new APK. Takes a few seconds, and then we'll get the status. There it is. And finally, the last step to zip align the app and give it the name again. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And you just come here to Market APK, and there it is. That's the one you want to publish. I just want to show you really quick uh, what happens when you have already created a cert and you want to start uh, converting another APK and you've restarted Marketizer. So you basically come to the Setup tab and you click Select Cert and you browse to Marketizer folder and My Certs and then you select the cert you created previously and if you had saved an MTZ file, you just click Load MTZ, select it, click Open, and it loads those values. And now you just continue on to customize APK, go through everything here, and so on, and you have another APK ready to publish. Well, enjoy using that, and have fun publishing apps to the market. Good luck, everybody. Remember to visit our partner sites. Tony is at www.tair.info. Gary is at sites.jsoft.com slash rm. And we are the Heart of Gold Group developers at www.hog-g.com.
Thanks again for watching another take video.